react i should probably react that's why people are here but we're having such a fun conversation okay okay i get it time to pull for kazua uh you or me uh me not gonna happen somebody on youtube mentioned i should pull for kazua though and i'm like i would love to but That's not happening. We're pulling for Sijuin. You're going home in 10 minutes? Ooh, nice. I sadly don't have any Primos. No, you said you've been w using them all. I do have Primos, but I uh, we're not going to. <clears throat> we're going to save them. Even if during this special program they um the banners are like eh for me still not gonna wish because it's not we're saving need to save up mind donating me those crystals which you get no no they're my emergency fund <laughs> they're my emergency fund they don't exist until I really need them, which technically I didn't really. Ugh. I shouldn't have pulled for Ito. Don't say that, Dana. Don't say that. You love Ito. Ito is great. Ito is going to be in the special program. So, like, don't be like that. No, they don't exist until they need to exist, basically. That's what it is. That's what it is. They don't exist until they need to. Getting Farina and Sijuin is an emergency. They are. Sijuin, like, I'm really sorry for everybody that wants me to pull for Farina, but Sijuin definitely is an emergency. I would use them on Sijuin. For sure. No doubt. Brianna, thank you for the raid. Oh my god, hello everyone. And Brianna, how was your stream? How's everybody doing? Wait, let me give you a shout out. Hi. How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. How was your stream? What did you do? I've been yeah, I've been talking this whole time. I'm so sorry. We were gonna react to the special program, but now I I was talking. Hi everyone! Welcome to the stream. Hello, I am Dana, also with a feather. Um I stream Genshin. <laughs> but you can see that. I'm a Kleeman. You can see that. Um I'm I'm not I can't say I'm new anymore. I've been playing for almost a year. Um Chant one or Jean one. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, welcome. We are gonna react to the special program. I've just been talking this whole time. Um, so we haven't reacted yet. So if you've seen it, sorry. <laughs> um Heartless Avenger. I guess that's how you say it. Hello, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Jean Tuan. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Uh, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. We were just watching it too. Yeah. I would have watched it already if I wasn't talking <laughs> so much. We had deep conversations about friendships. While I struggle with the rains and power outage. Oh no, that's terrible. Is it that bad? Oh man, it's really nice here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where where you where you are, so but that's terrible. Ooh. I hope it doesn't get worse. Power outage sounds very bad, though. But you're typing here, so I think you're, you're fine right now. Uh, but hello. Father made it too hot weather. Had to come down to rain and cool it down. That makes sense. That's true. I get that. Yep. Yep. I mean, we had like one of those rain rain nights i think a couple of nights ago where it was just too warm 
Uh, right now it's nice though. Uh, but I hope you had a really great stream. I had a great stream. But yeah, we are also gonna watch the special program. I'm so sorry for those that have already like watched it. Um, <laughs> I haven't. Uh, this is the first time I'll be watching a special program where I won't spoil myself or there will be spoilers. Uh, because I only recently finished the Fontaine story. It took me until now. Well, technically, it depends how you see it. Uh, because I started playing in July of this of last year. Not this year. Hasn't happened yet. I, I... Yeah. Sorry. I'm awkward. New people are watching me and then I feel awkward. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna react to it and stop talking. Anyway, I only recently wrapped up the story. Um, so all the previous special programs, I had to skip stuff. Or I was like, that's looking really nice, but that's not gonna happen for me anytime soon. Um, but now I can participate. So I'm excited. Also, father on the screen. Um... Yeah, now I'm curious when co-op streams will start again. I am not sure yet. Hopefully Sunday, but I'm not 100% sure. It might be next Sunday, but they will come back this month. The co-op streams will come back. Co-op Sunday, stream, Sunday streams will come back. It's just I'm not sure yet if I will do it this Sunday already or next Sunday. But yeah, I'm excited for those. It's fun. We're going to explore and do all kinds of fun things, I hope, think. I don't know. Um, okay. Let me turn off the background music. Uh, turn up the sound a bit. For myself as well. So I can hear better. Tell me if the sound is too low for you all, and I will turn it up. Okay. Let's go. Thank you for the share. You're welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. It's so nice of you. Thank you so much. It's really sweet. I very much appreciate it. Uh, but I also understand, like, if you had a long stream, or you're tired, and you need water, or food, or anything, you can. All good. You've successfully built your Severus. <gasps> nice. I honestly, um, real talk for a little bit. I completely forgot about Severus' existence until like um, someone mentioned her. Maybe it was you, Queen Sea Fairy, when you mentioned you were building her. I was like, right, Severus. <laughs> <sighs> Power outage made sure I couldn't do long stream. That sucks, though. I hope it gets fixed soon. Or like, you know, it, it's not lo it's not a problem for much longer. Because man, I would feel oh, if I would have no power, I would I wouldn't know what to do with myself. It did come back seven minutes ago. Nice. Okay, that's good. But yeah, that sucks that it like stops your stream. I've had like a like a. Not like power outage, but sometimes the internet just disappears. And it's like, damn it. I'm close to crowning my shivers. Nice. Nice. I haven't even crowned Klee yet. I want to, though. She'll be the first one. Anyway. Okay, are we ready? We're going to watch the special program now. And I'm going to react to it. Sorry if it's an underwhelming reaction. I'm a bit tired. But I try. Plus my plus my shivers as a magical wand. Right, I have the magical wand. I need to fix that for Zhang Li. So I have magical girl Zhang Li. Anyway, special program. Arlecchino's here. Let's go. It has been millennia since the fall of Lemuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Mm -hmm. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, 
There was an empire known as Remuria. Uh -huh. Remurians believed their king Remus would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. Okay. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. Mm. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. Cool. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today... Mm. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Yay. Let's take a look at the trailer! Man, she sounds so... Okay, trailer. On occasion, mm. we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. Okay. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan, shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Neverland, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within the Fontaine. There she is. She's so cool, though. Transfixed. Everlasting as the moon. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Who's that? Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into don't, this. If Father don't... finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. Don't be mean to Fremini. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. What's happening? I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your what? words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. What is you happening? <laughs> are willing to sip from a glass filled with tasty water. We, I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned Why? to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Man. Holy fuck, what the hell is happening? What is going on? What is Sino doing? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4. I'm going to Okay. Wow. That was a lot. What is going on? What is going on in the the house of the heart? So much chaos. Arlecchino looks great. Fallen Angel Black Widow vibes. Yes. Yes. Oh, she's playable character. She's gonna she's gonna be released in the next update. Yeah. So she's gonna be new. Uh Shagon. She's hot, you mean. She's she's I she's not really my type. <laughs> but I get but I get it. She kinda you know, I get it. But like it, Risley is more my vibe. Um, though I guess it's sort of the... I don't know. But she's very... Yeah. 
Yeah, I didn't know the Traveler had a voice. I mean, she barely talks. That's why every time she has dialogue, I go, she talks. In two weeks? Yeah. I'm gonna power wash her with my new C2 V. <laughs> Congrats on the C2, by the way. I mean, Arlecchino is hot, but I still prefer Mr. Cake. There we go. Yeah, same. But Arlecchino is great. Uh, but that is a lot. Also, Sino popping up. Who's that new guy? Um, Paimon steals the dialogues. So that's true. Paimon talks a lot. Um, but yeah, um, Traveler does a lot of the special programs as well, I think. It's either Lumine or Ether that do them if they're like with the chibis, I think. We need the duct tape for Paimon and Rope. No, don't be mean. Don't be mean. I love Paimon. Anyway, new guy is completely new, not just something you haven't encountered yet. Okay. Wait. I'm going to look because I'm going to keep going. Um, to see where this goes. But Ito is here. Lumine, Arlecchino, and Linny. Linny is here. Six special programs. It's on Twitter. I stayed away from Twitter just so that I don't get any spoilers for myself. That's what I do. Um, so that when I see banners and stuff and I see things popping up, I'm as surprised as ever. So I haven't been on Twitter today. I have only been on Instagram. And on Instagram, I've only been to post my stories. Uh, so yeah, follow me on Instagram. I would really appreciate it. Also, follow me on Twitter. Enjoy my Discord. I'm trying to be active everywhere. We talked about me not being good at keeping up with things. Uh, but I'm trying. I'm working on it. Um, so, yeah. Don't post anything about what I don't know. I have no clue what's going on. I'll see it when I'll see it. So, I'm gonna watch and see what my one and only is gonna say. See... I see Ito and I get really happy, so it was worth it to pull for him. So, yeah. Okay, yay! <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree <clears throat> that the House of the Hearth isn't oh, an ordinary definitely. Orphanage. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Yay. Hey everyone, my name is Erin Yvette. I'm Man, the she sounds of Arlequino, so the different. Of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui Harbinger known yep. as the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah. Hi, folks. I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny. And Wait, he also, also sounds so different. member of the House of the Hearth. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, he could we've be. also brought the Harbinger of Laughter and Cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. <laughs> What up? It's me, Max Middleman. I love Ito. Hey everybody, what's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude. <laughs> Are you excited uh, to so be here? They're so cute. Vibes, 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 vibes for this. <laughs> All right. Well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content yes, from please. version 4.6. Yes. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House Ooh. of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Okay. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated... That is an understatement. The, Nave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Yes, please. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Let's okay, go. Okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Nave is? Oof. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Mm -hmm. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from, mm. but... 
that's just an outsider's point of view, right? Yeah. What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. Okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> strict. Um, she sounds right. like it. Sounds it. Like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlecchino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children. I was going to say, if you're like, you know? if you're bringing up the new generation of Fatui, basically, you need to be. You need to be a bit strict and... You know, anyway, keep going, Lini. <laughs> That's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. <laughs> Why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep our Lakina secrets okay, in sad. For just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why did the children call her father? True. Ah, uh, well, if you're curious about Arlecchino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. Makes <laughs> sense. Her story quest <gasps> in Miss Purgatorious will be released in version cool. 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil it. We have to do that. Oh, God, she's getting a story quest. quest. Okay. But I oh. do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlecchino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, huh. if you use the feature while playing Arlecchino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And I needed this, like, way earlier. I needed this way earlier. Are you kidding me? That's so good. I'm so glad they added that. That is so good. I get so annoyed by it. Remember when we were... What was it? When we were doing... Um, what was it exactly that we were doing? It was like a... a, a yeah, it was the interlude chapter, right? With... With, um, with, with, with Wanderer, where we had to do that world quest for like half an hour before we could unlock the character that we needed to talk to for like, oh, father story time. Let's go. Let's go. And watch you being locked by like three other Fontaine story quests. Not anymore. You can pause others. Oh. If it's a requisite, then not. Oh, this is just for this one quest as of now. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind its progress. We're getting there. We're getting there. That's so cool. We have to do that. Oh. Oh. I'm so excited. Okay, let's keep going. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides Good. the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> we'll finally be able Her to voice hear lines will be so cool. Too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, next, let's take a look at Arlecchino's elegant yet deadly okay. fighting style. Don't be too good <laughs> because, <laughs> like, I, I can't pull for you. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. The glitching is so cool. Transfixed. <gasps> Is that a like sight? Are you kidding me? Look at her though. She does look like an angel of death. This. Fuck. Oh, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Yes. 
Yes. All right. Well, if She's we're cool. going to talk about Arlecchino's combat abilities, then we're going to have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Oh. Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. I Anyone have not fought many. What a bond of life is? No. Yo, wait, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. That's it's so the red cool. portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, oh. which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's oh. in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Okay. Well, whoa, As if I know wait, what they're talking know. about. So you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. <laughs> no, wait. I get it. Wait, so... It, That's pretty Arlequino cool. can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, I, I yeah, think they, so. I, I mean, I've noticed you have it. Yeah, I've noticed it. Chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. Oh. <laughs> Actually, that that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that She's really to cool, though. Skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies, it also applies Man, look a at blood her. debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb okay. nearby blood debt directives. Wow. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on oh. her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> uh, <laughs> She's kind of. A I savage. would probably I mean, suck um, right. so at Arlequino playing with her has character. A special kind of movement whenever <laughs> she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring her enemies. Yes. Look, she yeah, can fly. For putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfair. Uh huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes. Ooh, event wishes. You guys ready? Oh, let's do yeah. it. So exciting. All right. Okay. The first phase of version 4.6. <gasps> Linny. And Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. The all new five star polearm crimson okay, yeah. semblance will also. Father and son, available. yes. Also, the Wanderer and Baiju will return <gasps> in the second phase. Wanderer? So be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Aaron I don't need David, Wanderer. Do you have any other news you'd I'm like fine. to share? Kevin, yes! Actually, I do. Let's Kevin is here. The new weekly boss. Oh, oh right. she's also a weekly we boss? We were just talking about how the Knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders. But in special circumstances, she will reveal Look, I do want Wanderer, but I'm <laughs> already right. not pulling Are for, like, Kazuha. So, like, I, I can't. Yeah. I can't. You need their story to unlock her or quick start. Uh huh. I really do want Wanderer though, but next time. Look at her though. She's really cool and scary. Are you kidding me? Look at that. New outfit. I mean, they all do that, right? Would definitely play her. I get it. Damn. I'm gonna avoid her so much. I don't want to fight her. <laughs> Damn. 
Not even Linny and Fremine have seen this side of her before. Mm. She so seems cool, the yeah. Seeking challengers now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so elegant, but also super. Man, dangerous. look at her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, that feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> 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 it's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were mm. giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Yeah, it seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're Damn, ever look at that. The yeah, it feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying. Or Time to swipe. <laughs> Instead, I think a lot of people will swipe for her. Initiative. Even if their opponent is their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. That makes sense. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But <sighs> if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Mm. I'm gonna forget about that by the time I fight her, though. Spiders. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. Oh my gosh, it's like she has total control. It does look like spiders. I don't like that. And closes the distance. It's kind of creepy being the hunted one for once. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think we should stop the introduction here. Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Uh -huh. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature Ooh. for weekly Trounce domain bosses. Yeah. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, which I am, to challenge her directly. Just power wash with Novi. I don't. Ca I can't power wash. Selecting Trounce I don't have a Novi list. Uh, wow. That's cool. That's a yeah. nice uh. little shortcut to the battle. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward also, to Also, thank that. you for that pulling Wanderer really in, in my place, <laughs> Hira. I appreciate it. <laughs> some news. Two Ooh. new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Nice. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and they look pretty. I don't know anything about Tell artifacts. I should probably get more, more into it. Cool. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for some reason, <gasps> Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? His picture. He gets a second one. Oh. <laughs> I still haven't done his first one, well, though. Well, Sina wanted to investigate personally Ooh. because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Uh, Interesting. Going That's on. right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good guesses, but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery <gasps> oh. will make his debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will oh. all come to support him when he's in a pinch. I miss them. So yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, oh, then be we sure have to, to play check out those. Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking in nice. the sands. In I'm looking forward time, to course. everything. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information to uh -oh, share. Oh, wait, Really? Wait, yes. wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. Can, I get that. <laughs> Overwhelmed. So we can digest oh, all of little it. break. Damon. He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Quick oh, break. Magic. That's what I thought. <laughs> Everyone wants to swipe for her. Meanwhile, me, easy skip. I mean, for me, it's also a skip. I don't mind. If you haven't claimed your codes, do it. Do it. Um, but yeah, I'm also skipping Arlecchino. Arlecchino. But I get why you'd want to pull for her. I, that's definitely a character I would want in the future. Same with Linny. But right now... 
Not feeling it. Not feel. I'd rather have Nuvilet in Kazuha and Wanderer. I'm so upset. Wanderer, Kazuha and Wanderer. Oh. But it's not happening. We're saving. Feel Chloran drip will drop before a patch. That would be nice, though. I would love to have some Sijuin drip. Definitely Kazo over Wanderer. I know we agreed on that. That of all the Wind Boys, I should um, prioritize prioritize Kazuha. Oh, they're hey, back. Welcome back, everyone. Ooh, new so area. We've already told you the story of Arlequino and the House of the Hearth. So, why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which Ooh. you saw in the beginning of the program? Yes. I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Cool. <gasps> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally. Right. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned <gasps> Look at the it, birds. definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Oh, for yeah, sure. I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So, Man, I have not discovered the much of Fontaine yet, right? honestly. Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, then in this little town... Is that a cat? Uh, a lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet... <laughs> A talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization Ooh. that vanished thousands of years ago. Oh. What? Oh my talking god. Talking cat! Oh, Anything for a talking cat. <laughs> oh, such a cute As cat, Aaron too. At the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, mm -hmm. one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I, I actually, I don't You're get so it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on Looks an adventure so pretty. with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself. I'd love to go on an adventure with the, with the cat. The cat. The kingdom's Hi, remnants Shaven. slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the Ooh. deep seas. Dun, 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 dun. So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in mm -hmm. the ruins. You know, that might be fascinating, so interesting thing. Adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess Ooh. of the faded castle. That looks scary. Silently proclaiming the immortality and glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh, yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials Damn, if look you at manage it. to beat it in a challenge. <laughs> Yikes. I... So for it. <laughs> Me oh, too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> that was great, Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? We that swim. That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Mm. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, <laughs> so nice. Fun. I know. So cool. <laughs> all right. That's all the information that we have about Fontaine Yay. for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it <laughs> seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular <gasps> in Inazuma. Rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Take a look at today's second redemption Quick break. code. Yeah. All right. I do not agree with the Paimon slander in my chat. I don't agree. I love Paimon. From Chenyu Vale, you have a nice view of the hole in the map without too much of its fog. It looks quite goofy as of now. I should go have a look. <laughs> Hi, Shaven. Stream has been well. We're reacting to the special program. I'm very sleepy. I feel like I've been streaming for three hours already and it's not even been two. So... <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. How to get there? Most of the players, we swim. Farina players, we run. Arlecchino players, we fly. Yeah, well, I don't have any of those. 
<laughs> or like if you're Risley, you do an ice bridge, I guess. I do have Risley. Ooh, we're back. Welcome back, everyone. Hey. <gasps> okay. I hear that a musical tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself. <laughs> Are we getting a free Max, character? Would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. I'm getting Goro. So, I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um... Of course. He participated in last yes. year's Lantern Rite, <laughs> right? That's right, yeah. Both Hutao and Shinyan perform there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right, and this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Devotion. And I'm getting it some more oh Ito. Oh gosh, and even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh does. yeah, no, the way he says, iridescent, arataki, rockin' for life, tour to force of awesomeness, really gives off the feeling of rock and roll. <laughs> nice. And the theme of this concert is about life, specifically, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Oh, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm looking yeah, forward to it too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> Ito's what? gonna be performing. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. Nice. Yes, it will be. And here's more exclusive news for you. Oh. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to Ooh. our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Wait, you have instruments in Genshin? So if you enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you I didn't playing know music that. in game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more <laughs> amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about Fourth it, one. the festival, why don't you help launch the art? Damn, I didn't know that. Awesomeness. Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> all right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one. Also, I'm so glad about the goal rule. Ensemble. We can For all the doors you got, you deserve it. I know, right? Do you be happy about that? Together. Yes. Wow, those keys look really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. Mm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rock and music festival without a rock and venue. So yeah. travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, <laughs> we have the meeting of melodies. Ooh. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their Technically tunes, the fifth, but two previous ones are almost oh. oh, so we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt. Be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Doesn't Thank you for the hydrate. Wind trace, seekers and strategy has finally arrived. What? Yes, I love wind trace. I don't know and, what that and, is. Yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, that the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah love you're correct. It. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before. Hide and but there seek. Are a few new rules. Ooh. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, I don't time, know about this. To the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Oh, everybody's high. Now, <laughs> they will be automatically freed after their time out, but also oh, that the looks like can fun. Try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> oh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? I'm gonna, yeah, I'd suck all. at that. Oh no, each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebel's goal is to repair these devices while Ooh. also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, uh -huh. or they can simply eliminate their opponents. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But I've never seen this, but it looks nice. Thrilling. It looks when really cool and fun. Device, the device being repaired will enter Bear the doesn't like it, though. signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, 
The device will even be marked on the menu. <laughs> well, Bear, you okay. don't have to be in co-op so and play with us. The devices will expose your location. It depends when it'll go live. I just realized sort of I go visit my family in like a little bit over two this weeks. This super interesting to play. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And in another event, travelers Ooh. will receive a rather strange commission. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, rather strange? What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Okay. Huh? Oh yeah, and not just a pyro regisfine. He also wants to befriend a primo geovision and a jade plume terror shroom and the millennial pearl seahorse. Okay. Huh? You guys heard me the first time. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you would react this Tree way. returning anyway, events. A chef I've never seen any of these events, so they're all new ideas. to me. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Wait, did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event when the Virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? But for now, it's time for me to introduce the gameplay. Oh, okay. All Every right, time they okay. rerun an event and keep adding features, so they usually you always get worse. Oh, challenge. no. You can adjust the difficulty. I hope my first wind race. If you've got the I'm guts, gonna, then you can take I'm going to enjoy, though. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Oh. Cool. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of mm -hmm. strategies that you've picked. Ooh, that's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. Mm -hmm. Moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Vibro crystal mm -hmm. applications. Ooh, it seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that means that so much. Incredible. If you know Dead by Daylight <laughs> yeah, game, well, that's what this Wind Rays event is. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never played Dead by Daylight. Before I know the battle, game. You can set up vibro crystal harmonics plans for each of your teams. Okay. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Hmm. Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal This is going to be confusing for me. I'll figure it out. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot mm. on, Saramella Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. Mm -hmm. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the genius invitation I don't care about TPG <laughs> event, the Forge Realms Temper, will be returning in version oh. 4.6. Yes. The heated battle mode will also receive an update, so don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mastery nice. event, so you can more easily train up the characters who need the Not that I ever, boost. I need to start <laughs> using oh gosh, thank you so much, that Max. more. You just did an amazing yes, job. That was impressive. You, Sarah. That. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks, and guys. since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Okay. Little break. Yes, you agree? I was well, going to say I, I agree. agree. So, I agree. agree. <laughs> so how about now? Let's check it out. I don't care about it either, but two of my favorite four star supports are getting a card. I prefer them. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. I'm glad they're getting a card. I don't I don't follow it so much, honestly. I'm excited for the events though. They look nice. Also, who's this? I haven't seen this character yet. Like the one next to, to Shinobu. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I'm not even going to pretend to, like, pr I don't know how to pronounce that. Haizu? Hazo. I don't know. Really good animal character? You have to do his hangout. It is great. Ooh. I should. Second one. Okay. Hazo. 
Azo, was that it? He's Ryo anim animal for star version. What does that mean? Okay, yeah, no, I haven't met it. Like, I don't know where that is. Hazel, yeah, that. Welcome back, everyone. Oh. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Damn, I need that. <laughs> The Serenity oh, Ball. Updates for the Serenity Pot, such as the Quick Obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into Aha, a queue. Aha! Okay, it makes sense. I get it to now. Purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, Ooh. That does actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> so convenient. The avatar system will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends Ooh. as your profile display. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm hmm Oh, and there's Arama. You and bet. the Thunderbird and uh -huh. Rue. Oh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots Change of is gonna be great like when Nutland comes Treasure out. And have also adds new sets to build. It's true. will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The compasses will also include information about different map layers. Ooh. It's way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Yeah, that's that's going to take ages for me to get there. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go music! Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yay. Genshin Impact's new music. Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and Yay. related content. Yes. Music is my favorite. So hyped. <laughs> Music is great. Oh no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left. For oh us no! To present. <gasps> I know. We're I know. done. So I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Oh, so it's not so and sad. Is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Vin answer uh, right now in this moment. Uh, mm. It's okay. You've got now. this. You've okay. Got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make go. it easy and just. Um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, we did we did a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so cool. She is really she's cool. So freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I, am I can't wait really to play her story that quest. And Linny's involvement in said things, mm. and that's all I'm gonna say right now, guys. <laughs> the little that cat. It's so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It <sighs> is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording. Damn, so, I'm excited um, for that. Gosh, it's that's be fun. amazing. <laughs> I love well, Ito. I'm excited for all of those things, too, and I'm also really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much. I can be excited about <laughs> everything. A ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6, so I hope Seriously. everyone's excited. I'm excited. Wow, okay. The thing I is, I just have to say, this was so fun <laughs> being here with you today. I'm so glad I, got I also it. realized that, <laughs> yeah. It's a great time. <laughs> so, thanks for being here. And I think that's all we've got for this program. So, Sand. we will see you all in game. See you guys Yay. in the game. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Let me close this. Are you going to watch demos now? No, not today. I feel a little bit ploof. I think I'm going to do the cat event a little bit. And it's not going to be a long stream. I think I'm going to stream for like an extra hour. We'll see how, how much fun it's going to be. Because I'm very sleepy. Like, I'm so sleepy. It's terrible. I would have taken a nap before stream if I had time for- I'm sorry, Bear! I'm sorry if people were looking forward to that. I'm so sorry, but maybe I'll do that Sunday or um, Monday. But... Not today. Because I'm too sleepy and I... 
I, I already felt like I was <laughs> sleepy during my reaction of the special program and I don't want it to be that, you know, I want to be energized when I when I react to the to the demos and all that stuff, because we've been waiting for that for so long. Anyway, recap, I'm excited for the update. It looks fun. No pulling for me. Um, thank God. Because I would be very upset if there would have been uh, anybody. So I have a little bit more time to save up. The only thing I'm thinking about is when will the update go live? Like what day is that going to be? In two weeks, right? Because I'm just thinking... I leave at the beginning of May for two weeks so I'm afraid I might miss content Sage <laughs> but I'll have to see I'll have to see I'm gonna take a re 7 a.m. Wednesday for 24th okay I'm still here the 24th I'll be good We'll have a week, a week. <laughs> we'll have a week. <laughs> I'm scared of the weapon banner though, because every time there's a pole arm and a bow and I want the pole arm, my luck just completely disappears. Really? I'm going to end up with Linnea's bow. I just know it. Did Do you have it already? No, you're going to get the pole arm. I believe you're going to get the pole arm, Hira. Okay, I'm gonna take a really, really, really quick break. Let me turn on game sounds real quick. So, yeah, better. Uh, I'm gonna take a really, really quick break. And I'll be right back. So, see you in like less than a minute even.
Hello. I had a quick bite to eat. <laughs> I just shoved a piece of toast in my mouth. I'm back. Less than a minute, you said it was more than three. Was it? It wasn't more than three minutes. I don't believe that. Really? Okay, I was trying to eat a piece of toast, but it wasn't so nice anymore because I toasted it like... <sighs> three hours ago. <laughs> Okay, it was gonna be less than a minute, but then I was like, I need to eat something, so that's why. But I'm back! I'm back. Let's play some Genshin. Let's do some... some cat stuff. Which... quest is... Blo blocked. I wonder. Anyway, um... Here. I'm gonna do this. So let's go to... Monster. And go play with some cats or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not too upset about the banner. I'm still upset about Kazuo and Nevilet, but I'm fine. I'll pull for them another time. When you said it will be less than a minute, I of course had to look at the clock. I I shouldn't have said that. I should have just said be right back. I don't even know why I said it. It's my own damn fault. It's my own damn fault. There's something on my screen. Don't even know how it got there. Fixed. Nivi and Kazwa are both popular, so they'll definitely be back. Yeah, I'll be fine. It's okay. Right now, I need to... Um, <laughs> It, it's gonna be like characters I really want or could really use. You have to be careful when I'm around, otherwise you will get trolled. I should have known. I need to keep that in mind more. I keep forgetting. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going. Aha, uh -huh. over here. Hello, Furball Fortress. Kazuo also has a possibility to be on an Inazuma-only banner if that happens. Right! That's true! Forgot about that. That's so good. They're doing banners like that now. Oh! It's just a regular house. Gotta say, Paima was expecting something a little bigger with Fortress in the name and everything. I mean, it still looks pretty big though, Paima, what are you saying? This was the biggest space I could find in the city over the past few weeks. The rent is cheap, so that's Look at a that. plus. A half a year's worth of rent, along with all the Cat's Tale-inspired furnishings, only cost me a few million more. A few million? Of course. Not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely. We plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption. As long as the new future owners prove capable and the cat seems like a good fit, they're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. How nice! This location is definitely good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. When that day comes, though, I'll probably have to think of a different name. Huh, maybe the... Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> no, I mean, it can still be furball. Like, dogs, foxes, squirrels, they're all furballs. It's like when you start getting in frogs and stuff that, like, it might not be furball. I would suggest letting all of this play out first. Mm. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. It's also true. Huh? 
Look over there. That cat is staring at us. Hello. What a cute kitty. Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. Aww. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. I mean, yeah. It took us forever to track her down again. She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh fallen snow. Wait, that's perfect! We should call her Snowball! Also, I'm so happy with the free Goro. Are you kidding me? I'm so happy. I really wanted him. And I got all those shitty Dories. Oh. I will get the dog boy. I'm so happy. I'll have my uh, my Geo team imagine if there was free Dory. I would skip the event. I would not claim it. That's what I would do. I need Kazwa so bad, even though I'm poor, my Primus just disappeared. You said you keep pulling as soon as you can on the banner. How much pity do you have, Queen Sea Fairy? I would honestly just skip claiming Dory. Or do I still get a free pull? I'm going with Tofu. Pudding is a bit... Eh. Tofu would also be a good fit. Oh. It's not... Ooh, those are some good names, Traveler. But Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. If you say so. Here, kitty kitty. That's it, Snowball. Good kitty. That's a good kitty. Hmm. It, it's been what? A minute? And you already got the cat to listen to you. Did you see that, Miss Rosaria? She's practically a miracle worker. You really are a cat whisperer. See, Paimon can't be that bad if cats like her. Ah, uh, that was nothing. They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. That doesn't work. We tried that already. First things first, though. You gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. Um, how should Paimon put it? Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. Hi, Tuna. Surprised. Paimon confirmed this cat Archon. Maybe she is a cat. It was meant to be. I think I skipped claim clamming. <laughs> Did you clam? <laughs> I would skip Dory. I am still so upset about it. So I'm very happy that we're getting a free Goro. Oh! I'm excited for the event. Um, hello, Tuna. I hope you had a great week. Welcome to the stream. There are a lot of talking cats in the game. Foreshadowing? And she does hate water. That is true. Foreshadowing indeed. Just a cat. From the land of cats. The cat Archon. For example, you can't just stand there trembling in fear, Valerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you might want to keep an eye on your, uh, facial expressions. Poor Rosaria. She doesn't even want to be here. These poor creatures. Picked up off the streets, given a name, and they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. Is that a good or a bad thing? You don't seem very happy about it. She's going to the vampire. Hey, Snowball is snuggling oh. up to Rosaria! Looks like she's not afraid of her anymore. Damn, look at that. Look at the cat. Rosaria, do you have catnip? Did Rosaria just smile? I saw it too. We should pretend like we didn't see anything. No matter. There are more important things to focus on. Sure. Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. I I'm going to go get some air. Call me if you need me. The cats need you. Snowball needs you. Adopt, adopt Snowball. She's huh. like, I have to get away. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. Please, teach me more of your ways, honorary knight. Mm. And you too, oh great cat whisperer. 
You're trying too hard. We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress, and I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. No problem. Just watch and learn. Yep. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. Give it treats. Have catnip. It's all about patience. Or that. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time. How do you get to know a cat? I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase. So the more I can learn at this stage, the better. Uh-oh. You must take various requirements into consideration when setting up your fluffy feline home. There are three attributes in this event, comfiness, durability, and aesthetics. You are required to select one suitable furnishing of each type in such a way that the overall area fits the three attributes requirements exactly. No more and no less. Ooh. Okay. The icon of the furnishing's primary attribute will be displayed in the upper left corner of the interface. In addition to the main attribute, it will also provide a small amount of other attributes. There is only one unique combination of furnishings that furnishes the attributes needed. What? Needed to complete the challenge and the furnishings that compromise comprise that com them. Wow. It's only 8.30 and Dana's already struggling with reading. That comprise that combination have appearances that complement each other the best. After you have completed your fluffy feline home setup, you can place food into the cat food bowl to be acknowledged by them. After you have fed a cat, you can call the corresponding cat at the throne of Meower or invite it to play directly. Okay. These bombs so heavy. Aw, Snowball is pretty. I'm gonna turn the game sound down for me. It was a bit loud. <laughs> Okay. Furnishing. Um, confidence, durability. So we mainly need durability. Tea time. I also need confidence, but mainly durability, I'd say. Yes. Lunch break. Then what? Ooh, I did it! That looks really cozy. Save. Feed the cat. <gasps> Fish. Snow white ball of pure white cotton is constantly pawing. Oh. Oh. Hello! Oh. You can select a cat from the throne of Meower or directly invite a cat to come and play. The cat's friendship levels are as follows. Trusted, trusted, cherished, and inseparable. The eight points where you can pet the cat are the right ear, left ear, face, lower body, upper body, tail, right paw, and left paw. Different cats have their own preferences for where they wish to be petted. Press in order to pet the cat. If you pet right where the cat likes it, its friendliness to you will increase, but this value will remain the same or even decrease should you pet a spot that displeases the feline. I'm not an animal person, so when I play this event, I'm like, okay, okay, just feel comfy and give me those primals so I can leave. Oh, but cats, bear. I love cats. This is so cute. Repeatedly petting the same part of a cat will cause friendliness to increase by less and less until it no longer increases at all. As such, you must adjust, adjust your approach and pet the cat in different spots. After you have switched up the places you are petting it a certain number of times, this cat's rate of friendliness increase will reset across all the body parts it like to be petted. Okay. Then, But at the same time, I don't care. It makes sense. I mean, that's totally fair. I'm a huge cat person, but I agree with Bear. This event is the worst I've ever played in Genshin. Really? And I'm like, ooh, cats! Maybe I'll dislike it too. So far, I'm not... I'm not upset about it. Once the cat's friendship level has increased to the next stage, areas where it did not enjoy being petted might, may change, 
and it may now permit you to pet it in new places. Use your keen observation and get along with them now! <laughs> oh! Hello! Oh, you did- Oh, I'm so- Damn, it hissed? Oh, you don't like- Okay. Um... Um... Ooh. Did you like this? Yes. Oh no, is it just all the same? Wait. Ooh! It liked- Oh! I know, I know. Where else can I pet it? What a cute cat! You have reached a cherished friendship. Okay. Oh. Oh! Ooh! <gasps> this is so cute! Did it like the tail? No, right? Oh, how cute! Lol, you're so charmed. I'm sorry. I just love cats. Can I do the par again? Yay! I did it. Inseparable. Middle of the head too. Right. Oh, you like that? Bye. We did it. I... Bye! <laughs> A joyful session! Wait, Mona, what the fuck are you doing behind me? You're like, hello! <laughs> are you... Okay. Meow? Is this really how cats greet one another? I wonder if my pronunciation's on point. <laughs> Meow? Looks like Snowball didn't understand even a whisker. Mona, are you trying to speak cat? Professor Magistus, that is not how you pronounce it. Try roaring at it like roar. Hey, roar sounds more like tigers or lions. That is, that's a good way to frighten the kitty and turn it into a scaredy cat. Now nah, that's, you know, surprise Mona. I mean, she did the same thing in Fontaine. All of a sudden it's like poof. She's good at that. Feather, Paimon, so the rumors were true. You really are working at the Furball Fortress. I mean, why wouldn't I? Working probably isn't the right word. We're helping Val Valerina and Rosaria out, so we're more like consultants. Yeah, that's it. Being called a consultant sounds more really impressive. <laughs> By the way, great astrologer Mona, are you looking to adopt a cat to assist you in your uh, astronomical observations? Based on my understanding of astrology, it shouldn't be too hard to teach a cat to read the various aspects of the star. I, I might even teach one to help me write manusc manuscripts. I don't. Well, you can try. Steal a peek at Snowball. Bully stare straight at Snowball. Snowball's like, I'm just vibing. <laughs> On second thought, maybe not. One who can only read the stars but is ill-versed at stringing words together would not suffice to convey my illuminating insights. If I really needed an assistant, it would be better to just take a trip to Fontaine and recruit some staff member from the Steambird or find the Melusine who can use a typewriter and bring them back to Monster. <laughs> Hello, I, <laughs> I would like one Melusine. <laughs> I'd do the same. Though I would kidnap Sijuin. Were I to really adopt a cat, at most it would be to play with it a bit, to relax and relieve the stress from the exhaustion of academ academic inquiry. One mustn't be a bad owner. When you get tired, it would be best if the cat is tired enough for a cat nap as well. Before I set foot in here, I never imagined hanging out with cats would be such a joy. Ah, how wonderful life would be if we could always be happy like this. That's true. Looks like you're going to be a really con conscientious owner. English hard. Guess this cat's gonna be in fine hands. 
But I've also heard, heard that some cats can be quite rambunctious, always jumping around, biting and clawing the furniture. Imagine my manuscripts or astrology tomes, ruined by feline canines. That'd be troublesome indeed. Making a snack out of precious books, Paimon can barely imagine something so terrifying. Snowball looks quite well behaved, but seems not so comprehend not to comprehend my meaning. Perhaps we lack that special connection. So I would like to observe a bit more, you know, keep an eye out for obedient cats. Oh, and I must calculate the cost of a cat. Of a cat bed, cat food, and other expenses. Not too luxurious, but also not so shabby. Wouldn't do to submit the cat to hardship. It's okay, take your time. There are many more furry felines in this fortress. Yeah, Valerina said that she'll adopt even more strays in the future, so even if no cats catch your eye today, you can always come back often to play and have a look. Nice. <clears throat> if you kidnapped Siju and Risley and Neville, it would be knocking on your door soon, but that sounds like something that would motivate you to do it even more. I was like, I wouldn't mind that at all. That would not be a bad thing for me. I wouldn't mind that. Okay. Aesthetics especially let's go with gilded whatever unbending no calming and then here we'll go with i don't know honestly nice i did it i don't think it looks nice together but okay Yay! And then Risley would take you to the Fortress of Meropeed, so you would be around him and Siege Win all the time. See? I only see good things. Let's give Chicken. Korean White Cat. Ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Look, it's smiling. Okay. Do you like to be pet? Here. You do! Tail? Nope, sorry! Look at him pawing like that. I love it when they do that. Nope, sorry, I don't hiss at me. I wonder what else. Um. Oh, you do like the other ear, okay. Yay! Tail. <laughs> I love this cat. Nope, sorry. I'm Oh, we can pet the back leg. I don't know what else. Ooh, wait, which one was that? Top of the head? No. Cute. Bye. You would love every cat. I would, I do love every cat. Oh, hi, Amber. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Both Bunny and Amber have a point. Oh, so that's it. A most astute observation. Actually, Paimon doesn't really get it either, but she can tell that Amber and Bunny have reached an understanding. Better, Paimon, you're here. I was just thinking about going to look for you. I've already heard all about how you're helping Va Valerina with the Furball Fortress. 
that's the Feather and Pie Mom for you. The second you're back in Mondstadt, you're already being such a huge help. I, the Honorary Knight, will fulfill my mission, no matter its nature. The defense of the cats of Mondstadt is one of my many responsibilities. And I take it very seriously. Speaking of which, what were you and Bunny discussing just now? You seem to be having a really fun conversation. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Oh, I was just asking Bunny about the weather and whether or not it would rain. Huh? Do cats know that kind of thing? Huh, <laughs> Lisa said something about that. According to a book she read, cats are very sensitive to humidity and don't like the feeling of being wet. So if they notice a sudden increase in the humidity, they'll start nervously pawing their faces and licking their fur. Once a cat does something like that, it's a sign that a large rainstorm is likely on its way. Interesting. Whoa, Paimon had no idea, that's so cool. Guess we just learned something amazing by accident. In that case, Feather, let's pay more attention to cats during our travels. That way we won't keep getting soaked by huge downpours from those big black clouds. I suppose we'll have to pay more attention going forward. Since when haven't I paid close attention to cute kitties? I originally came here to ask Valerina about something, but just as I was talking to her, this little kitty snuggled up close to me and yawned so loudly, it was just too cute. Since she was so affectionate towards me, then, well, then I need to show how friendly I am too. That's when I remembered what Lisa told me, so I went ahead and asked Bunny about the weather. But she responded by rubbing her face, then wagging her tail, then lying on the ground, snuggling against my hand. <sighs> so it is actually going to rain or... so... Is it actually going to rain or not over the next few days? We'll never find out. Funny how every time when Lumine does something, the whole town knows about it. I wonder if they watch her taking that. Probably. Well, no, that's creepy. But there's probably somebody that's like, Lumine's here! Okay. Comfiness. Aesthetic. Comfy. 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 I did it? Yeah, it's all within range, so. Woohoo! Let's feed the cat. Small, smoky cloud of fur appeared. <gasps> Hello! Oh. Tail? Yes! <laughs> okay, what else do you like? Paw? Yep. Cat Whisperer. Come on. <laughs> they make the cutest sounds. Okay, what else do you like? Yep. I want a cat. Okay. Ear. Nope. Sorry. We did it. Do you like the top of your head? Oh, it's all the same. Nope. Sorry. Maybe Mona is doing her readings of what might happen in the future and be like, she's coming. <laughs> That's why she was immediately standing behind her. Maybe, yeah. Ooh. She likes pets on the paws. We did it. Bye, kitty. Bye-bye. <gasps> Raise her. <laughs> You want a cat? Mm. Meow. <laughs> it's you. Me. I'm talking. Talking. Razor, are you talking to Dustball? Meow, meow, meow. It seems like Dustball is trying to say that's right. A familiar scent. Looking for friends. It is good. Happy. 
meow meow. Friends followed the scent. You came too, happy. On your body, the smell of wind and rain, very familiar. Scent of cats, also familiar. Paimon, very sweet scent. Smell good. <laughs> Uh, sweet? Could that be the flavor of the pancakes Valerina gave us? Did, did Paimon eat that many? I gave you half of my portion, remember? Oh my god. No sweat, you can still eat triple what you ate before. Really? Paimon didn't even notice. Hmm, it's all the pancakes' fault for being so delicious. I want pancakes now. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> and Paimon also wants to eat sweet madame's steaks and hash browns. Ooh, and drink some apple cider. Okay, that's the menu for the next meal then. Come on, Feather, let's go place an order with Valerina. You come too, Razor. Thank, thank you. Dustball has brought me lots of nuts and meat boxes. I am very full. Sounds like Valerina ordered delivery then. Did Dustball deliver the food to you, Razor? Meow, meow, meow. Paimon never imagined that cats would actually end up taking care of the customers here in the Furball Fortress. Looks like you really are the cat's meow. Eh, Razor? That's such a stupid joke. I guess I have to go upstairs? Wait, what did it say about claiming rewards? Oh, look at them! Damn it, I have to- I uh, know, I have to do this. Wait. Did I get them? Oh no, they're here. Oops. Primo jams! Give it all to me! I need them all. Okay. Hello, kitties. <gasps> I love this one. Okay. I guess I have to go upstairs. Bye. No. Where do I have to go then? No. Is it like... Oh. It's here. Dumb. Okay. Comfiness. But also durability. Okay. Yay! Safe. I met the requirements. Fish again. Black and white. What was that? Pie ball? I don't know. But what a cute cat! Hello! Oh. Do you like. Nope, sorry. Nope, okay. That. Nope, you. Okay. Tail. Difficult customer. Okay, do you like being fit on the head? Nope, sorry. Ear was okay. Other ear? Ooh. Ear? Yep. I love how I've been here all day, as you can see through the windows. Yay! Can claim rewards now. Sorry! Where else you're back? I already did ears, right? Yeah. Back paw? Yep. Cute. Damn, I need like one more thing. 
I don't... Oh, I did it! Bye! I knew it was gonna be official! In my head, I was like, it's gonna be official. For some reason. Okay, hi, official. Oh ho ho! So this is the rumored sacred land that people name the Furball Fortress, and yet it is furnished in such a prosaic manner, shabby, one might even call it. Surely a few swings woven from the vines of purple agate grapes might be built? Pure silver lamps mounted with candles made of abyssal sea salt, all the better to light the cat feeding platter with the moti motifs of nightborn star- I mean, if you can fund that, sure. And yes, statues forged in the image of cat familiars by melting the venerable coinage of lost dynasties and adorning them with strange pearls and dewdrops from the depths of a fjord. Surely this would make for an amen amen amenable choice? I... You surely must agree, do you not, dear familiar? Hmm, you have yet to declare your name to your princess. Think on that, then, and know that it shall be your utmost honor to be known to her. Meow. His name is Dopey, esteemed pr princess. Hello, Niviosi, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Dopey isn't the brightest, and he can't really understand or appreciate your exquisite choice of words. Please show him clemency, princess. Hey, wait, no, that's not right. Why does Paimon get like this whenever she sees Fischl? Nothing wrong with that. Let me give you it a whirl, too. I, the great cat conjurer, sincerely pay my humble respects. Haha, <laughs> as I anticipated, can cat conjurers, thou hath once more been brought before our august person by the weavings of the threats of fate. Tis a most pleasing reunion. Oh... What a title. Looks like Fischl heard about us from Valerina. By your counsel, much thought have I given of late within Immernachtreich to realize the ingenuities obtained from prior experiences and I have decided to select the most sag sagacious and sensible of cat familiars to accompany my eminent person on my sojourns. Meow. Dopey's just happy to be here. Goody, what were you up? I'm doing good. We watched a special program. I'm excited because I'm finally getting a Goro after that fiasco on the Ito, Ito banners. Um, but yeah, I'm doing good. Friday evening. It's weekend. Always exciting. Always great. Now we're just hanging out with cats. Um, because that's fun and chill. And a great way to start the weekend, in my opinion. Oh, so you were also planning on taking care of a cat, Fischl? Well, understandable. Most people want to have their own after seeing just how adorable they are. But Fischl, don't you already have Oz? And the two of you tend to move really fast. Can a cat keep up? Or are you gonna have Oz fly while carrying the cat? Hmm. I, the princess in der Verurteilung, often traverse 3,000 universes, though such a journey may not be long, having more suitable companions and gaining insight into things easily overlooked naturally wouldn't hurt. Oz also would like to have a cat familiar to play, <clears throat> to join forces with, to guarantee that my mood shall shine bright as moonlight every second of every day. Yet it is a shame that though Oz went to great pains to don a form that sets most at ease, he could not diminish his ma majesty fully and could not approach the cat familiars. Whenever dear Oz gets within five paces of a cat familiar, their fur shall inadvertently stand on end and inflate like a bloaty floaty unmoored. And the closer and terror overtakes them, overtakes them, and they flee for the hills. The animal archons devoted and loyal nuns recommended that Oz repose without, and as their advice was sound, I graciously assented. Ancient Warlord, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow, I really appreciate it. Hope you had a great week, hope you had a great day. I've been playing for a long time and I always underestimate how much Fischl can talk. It is a lot. And difficult. 
<clears throat> Mad, you see? Oh, right, Paimon gets it. You mean that Alsa's body has so much electro energy that the second he enters the furball fortress, all the feline fur gets electrified, right? But if that's true, then how could a cat ever travel with you, Fischl? If only there was some material in Tivat that could block the effect of Electro. Then we could make cat clothes out of that material and then the cat could travel with you and Oz, no problem. Meow. Gimme, give it to me first. Those Electro slimes will be no match once I have donned this panoply of war panoply. But now that Paimon thinks about it, elemental power is super duper mega strong. If there was a material that could just easily resist something as powerful as the elements, that would be too good to be true. We probably shouldn't stand around daydreaming. Ah, the naivete. Do not jump to judge a cat familiar's talent through common sense. The semantic resources of mere mortal words struggle to accurately convey their properties. But what? Oh! No. Thank you so much, Niviozi. That's so kind. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the five euros. How friend how nice of you. You didn't have to do that. You just joined. That's so sweet. Don't mention it. I will. I'm I'm very grateful. It means a lot to me. Thank you. I hope you had a great week and you have an amazing weekend. Also, welcome to the stream. Also, I get awkward. <laughs> but thank you so much. Um, really, that really means a lot. You play an EU? I do. I have an EU account. I also am from EU, so that was that was obvious choice. I do. Do you play in EU or do you have a, 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 a US account? Well, you. Oh no, I cannot ever play with you. I'm sorry, Tuna. I'm so sorry. You're US. I know I have a, I have a couple of viewers who also have a US account and they can't play with me and it makes me sad. Um, but yeah. Okay, let me keep because Fischl keeps talking. Perhaps somewhere in this world there exists a cat familiar that can dive deep into the depths, endure in an inferno, and ride upon the wind. Such a special entity would surely have no fear of thunder or lightning. So long as I am patient in my search, I shall find it. For suit, even if I should seek for ten years or a hundred, it shall be a fleeting instant in the Immernachtreich. Additionally, the devotion to one's development in life is as important as the innate nature one is born with. I see this dopey as immen has immense potential. Perhaps after joining my retinue for a spell, it will become all the more familiar with the power of Electro. By happenstance, I, the princess, have disentangled a million myriad me menial affairs, thus allowing myself a tincture of time to spare. Perhaps then it shall not hurt in endeavoring to stay here and familiarize myself with these cat familiars, particularly this dopey. Meow. <laughs> then Paimon hopes you'll have fun here in the Furball Fortress, Fischl. Bye, Fischl. I really wanted to surprise you, but we have to play against the wolf. What does that mean, Niviozi? I have bought EU and US accounts. See, that's how... Well, Bear, you have more than just an EU and US account. <laughs> okay, last... No? Wait. Is it locked? Is it time locked? Did I do everything? Is that what it is? Oh, look at... Oh my god, Dopey is great. What the... Oh, Oh. oh no. Go to quest. It's like a thing. Wait till the next day. Like the next day. Okay. You can finish the quest today. Yeah. 
I started on EU, but I messed up and over leveled the world early on. So I restarted on America, and that's my main now. I did eventually manage to progress the EU account, but it's nowhere near as strong. Oh, that's kind of sad, but it makes sense when like the world level is too high and you can't lower it. You need to be at a certain level before you can even lower. Oh, Rosaria, you're back. Have you always been here? Not playing with the cats, or do you have a takeout order for me to take care of? What do you think of this job? You don't seem to play with the cats much. Do you find this boring? It's alright. Boring and interesting are relative. I don't un anticipate any major incidents or accidents occurring here. It's a very ordinary job, little different from staying at the church. Hmm, no, there are some differences. Some of these cats are very clever, and they understand me just fine. I find interacting with them interesting enough. <clears throat> and even though Valerina is quite similar to Victoria in the way she finds things for me to do, they do have very different ways of doing things. It's a fresh experience, I suppose, and that in itself is new. It's not a bad feeling. Well, that's great. Paimon thinks you get along pretty well with Valerina and the cats, really. You do indeed get along well. Thank you, and I hope things stay that way. Bye. Can you check a profile whenever you want to see their character status? can only check their displayed characters and only if they set it. That's true. I think I've set it up. I don't know why because I don't I don't really want people to check it out, but I think once you understand the game mechanics and elements you can overcome it, but I was so new at the time I had no idea how to defeat the bosses I needed to level my character. I'm the same. You got any C6s? Gaming and Dory. Dory was not very... Um, that was a very reluctant and was not happy with that C6. Gaming, on the other hand, five stars? No. I do not. I don't even have any C1s. I only started playing in July. I only have... One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, five stars. D Luke was not very um, welcome. I only have my triple crowned characters on display, but it's not public, so no reason to have them there at all. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Can you check mine, please? I do not check people's characters because I can't comment on it honestly i have no knowledge about any of them so i will go like oh nice and that's it <laughs> oh, I, it's just oh that's great it looks nice even if it's the worst it has the worst artifacts and stuff i'll just go that's nice because i don't get it the only reason some of my characters are as they are is because I got help from chat. <laughs> chat needs to help me with my characters. I'm not like, instead of the other way around, that's how it is in this stream apparently. Just realized I can never bring my fully built D Luke to play co-op with you. You can, Rinielle, you can, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll be okay. Well, you can ask chat. I'm pretty sure there are some people in chat that would love to help, I think. I assume. I always think that. You can bring your you can bring your D look, it's fine. Ah, it's on the US server. Okay. Well, lucky for me, I guess. My Nahida C6 is just sitting and I don't know what to do for her. You see Sixer and she's just sitting there? Okay, you need to look up some stuff online. Put them on her and pair with whatever electro. See, Hira is here to save the day. Hira knows everything. These bombs so heavy. I don't wanna can you like Clear is You're upsetting me. <laughs> I found a really weird looking lizard. You're upsetting Want me, me with all those C6s. Oh my god, really? Oh my Yelan can kill anything in 15 seconds. Nice. My Klee takes a little bit longer. Where?
Oh no, a certain special guest suddenly arrives at the Furball Fortress a short while into its trial operations, leaving Valerina in a panic. Don't worry, I'm here to save the day. Where are you guys? Oh. Oh no. Uh, the cat is hissing at me, Miss Rosaria. I'm scared. <laughs> Bench C6 Nahida shaking my <laughs> high EV. If it makes you feel better, I've been playing three years in my only five-star C6 is Mona and it was not intentional. Okay, I do feel a bit better. But you probably have C1s and stuff. I don't have that. I don't even have enough Primo gems to wish for Nervilet and Kazuo. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I'll survive. I'll get Sijuin and I'll feel better. Damn Ito! Well, my D-Look is almost C6 and that was not intentional too. Oh man, D-Look is the first time I lost a 50-50 and I was so upset. I'm never gonna look at him again. And I have d Luke since day one on that account and he's still C0. He only comes home for other people even though I actually want him. That's so fun. It's the same with Hira. Hira really wants Dia. And Dia is not coming. I started in November. I have no wish account. I have a no wish account. I have nothing. Oh, like an, an a, like just for yourself a no wish account or and have you been playing did you actually start Genshin actually start start in November or how does that I'm just you'll only see six and I have R5 with what idiot? I guess now I know why she's so P I mean yeah not the same at least Reniel has D Luke I don't even have Dia that's true yeah I won't tell her about how my C's I have for Dia yeah, we're not talking about Dia here. And if I ever lose a 50-50 and it's Dia, I'm just not gonna acknowledge it. We're gonna pretend it wasn't Dia. Just unless unless by that time Hira um gets a Dia. It's because it's I don't wish very often. I'm very select about wishing. I know one guy, one guy who has like 12 five-star characters, C6. Damn, that is nice though. I was really, like, Gaming is the first character I C6. And I was so happy about that because he deserved it, even though he's benched right now. <laughs> I would love to build Gaming though. He's cute. He's nice. I love Gaming. I only pulled Noel for a beginner. I decided not to pull after that. Only starting in November. I'm adventure level 50 now. Every fight is Dark Souls hard. I mean, if you're into Dark Souls, that's good, though. Damn, level 50 adventure? You started in November? It took me until, like... January to reach 50? When did I do the Ascension quest, actually? But yeah, you probably play a lot more than I do. I only play on stream. I should do my dailies, but I tend to not do them. And then I wonder why I don't have enough Primo gems. Um, yeah. It takes around three months to get to level 55 from level one with daily play. Ooh, it's good I'm enjoying it because I only have the starting characters. I feel close to all of them every day. Yeah, that makes sense. But that's nice that you only have the, like the the starting character. You must have a lot of Primo gems though. I only have intentional cons for Zhongli, Ayaka, and Nevi, and all only see one. Ooh. Zhongli. <laughs> I have no cons, but that's because I'm still at the point where I'm, like, collecting characters. So. Though I do think... I do honestly think if Klee would pop up again. I wasn't counting the Monstop banner because we were wishing for Ito. But if 
Klee would ever show up again, I'd probably maybe try to get, like, something. My 50-50 luck is truly legendarily bad. It seems like it. Oh my god. It'll, it'll turn. It'll turn, Rinelle. I have 40k primal gems. Wow. Wow. Can you give them to me? <laughs> You're never gonna wish. Damn, that's so many. Uh, I had half of that before I wished for Ito. And then it got ruined. Created that second EU account a few days ago and I'm already adventure rank 24. I mean, if you're going as hard at it as you guys, like, yeah. I think after I can beat Spiral Abyss, I will start wishing if I can beat Star Spiral Abyss. <laughs> oh no. Don't ask Dana about her luck though. You definitely don't want to hear that. My luck ran out though, Hira. I feel like we can only start talking about it again. Tuna, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Actually, well, you were here. You were always welcome. Me, I don't know how to finish the abyss with those C6 I have. I'm stuck at level 12. I probably haven't even... I don't do abyss. I probably... I'm at a point where I probably start, should start doing it. My numbers just disappeared from that first text. Lol. Oh. Who will win in a fist fight? Clear TT. Oh, thank you for the bits, Tuna. That's so kind of you. I really appreciate it. Who would win? Klee or Chi Chi? I think both of them wouldn't even want a fist fight. I don't even know who would win. Also, poor babies. <laughs> uh, maybe Klee? I don't know. I think Chi Chi could probably pack a punch. <laughs> She's a zombie after all. Or maybe that works like against her. Let's go for Klee, I guess. Poor Klee. I tried really hard to save on my newer account instead of pulling and I lasted a while but the gacha addiction got me so I wish for Yaimiko as I've never had her and actually she's been really fun to play so I don't regret it. I do now have to buckle down and save her when Farina reruns though. Bear wants me to save for the Farina rerun as well. Um, <clears throat> I said I'll do it. But if I hear anything about Sijuin before that happens... I'm afraid Sishuin will will win that one. You should save for Zhao rerun. Me? Look, Hira, Zhao had a rerun and you were the one that said don't wish for him. Don't do it. So we didn't. <laughs> I mean, Zhao's gonna be like in a while, so I'll be good. People say that's so disrespectful, you have C6 and you can't finish level 12. Doesn't mean anything. Because I look out for what you'd benefit from too. That's true. That is true. That's why like... Well, then I should I should wish for Kazuha because I would probably benefit from it. But I don't... I don't want to because if I do that, then I really have nothing. You don't have Kazuha? I don't have Kazuha. I do not. <laughs> I have a lot of character. I don't have, like, a lot of them I don't. Get him! I, if somebody gifts me, like, a shit ton of Primo gems, I will, but, um... You should probably give him some space. Ooh. Get too close <clears throat> and all that swatting might catch you in the face. I use up all my Primo gems on Ito. So, yeah, streamer is broke. She can't. Yeah, that too. Oh, 
no. Seems like Valerina has run into some more cat-sized trouble. <clears throat> Looks like the shelter has a new stray. There's something almost dignified about him. Honorary Knight! Cat Whisperer! This big cat just barged in here after Snowball! He Damn. must have spotted her when she went out for a walk and followed her all the way back here! That is a big cat. Give her a hundred bucks. Chat is broke too, I'm afraid. Also, streamer is um, has a donation goal and she would rather fill that up before even pulling for characters. Unless somebody's like, no, you have to use this for pulling. So a streamer is being responsible. <laughs> easy, easy. No one's going to hurt you here. All those evil things, all those that cat bad is people massive. who forced you to do whatever it took to survive. Okay. They can't find you here. You're safe within these walls. Damn, Rosario went. You're surrounded by good people now. Their constant hovering might get a little annoying, but Lol. it's all for your own good. <laughs> At least she relax. agreed with it. A life of leisure isn't a bad thing, you know. You just have to get used to it. <clears throat> Big ferocious cat. He, he understood all that? Big ferocious smart cat. Looks like it worked. <laughs> smart cat. Whoa, this cat is way yeah. bigger than the others. His coloring looks like fresh squeezed buffroot fruit juice. And he's wearing a scarf too! Huh? Cute. Looks like there's some sort of design on it. Oh! Oh, it's the symbol of the Knights of Avonius! Is this a knight? Is this Kaya's cat? <laughs> he deserves a name fit for a knight then. <clears throat> mm, he is pretty feisty. How about Sir Pantalot? No. 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 I please no. Oh, that's a terrible name. Really? Sir Pounce a lot? Uh, hi, Lord Artaban. How are you? How have you been? Honorary cat. It should have been honorary cat. You're broke too. Let's join the uh, fist bump, guys. I almost did it to the wrong camera because I still have that webcam there, but fist bump. Fist bump to the... To the to us broke people. Have you been Lord Artaban? <clears throat> you really do have a way with cats. No, not when you name he them. Looks way more at ease now. With that name, I'm surprised. You should have called it Kilmowski. <laughs> I would have preferred Kilmowski over Sir Pounce a lot. Thank you so much! Niv Yuzi, how kind of you! Is it for the pool for Kazuha Fund? What was that? I don't know. What was that? What happened? Who did that? <laughs> if it's Kazuha Fund, tell me. <laughs> if not, you know. I can use it for Kazuha Fund. Even though I'd rather fill up this donation gold bar. <laughs> Niviozi, you were broke! Tell me what you want to do. Man, Sir Pouncelot is a terrible name! Maybe I'm joking. Oh! Hmm. Is Neviozi joking or not? We'll never know. Maybe it was somebody else and they used your name. It's all a big ass mystery. Sir Pouncelot is great. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they should have just named him Kevin. You're getting much better with them, Rosaria. Hopefully you're finding this gig a bit more fun too. It doesn't matter to me either way. <clears throat> Although... The fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. Bob. Yes, Bob would be a better name for that cat than that. Let Paimon show you how to put Sir Pouncelot Bob. completely at ease. Paimon just needs to work a bit more of her magic and he'll be as happy as can be. He looks like a Bob. Oh, 
I'll show you how my Primo gems are at the moment. Oh, look, we went over 3k. That's nice. Um, but yeah, I'm... I'm saving. I'm saving because if Farina gets a rerun or they announce Sijuin, I want to pull for Sijuin. Because so I... Heavy. I need Sijuin. I can't... It's the same as with I, what I had with Klee. I need Klee. Hello, Bob. Let's fix the room for you. Damn, you're getting your own room. Confidence, durability, and aesthetics. Okay, then we'll durability here. Um, Confidence. Durability. Damn, you're getting cupcakes and stuff. Aesthetics. Confidence. Yeah, I did it. Seasoning is definitely coming soon since there are only two Fontaine patches left. There you go. I just want Cloran release and a Raya rerun, but definitely not at the same time. Why for some reason do I feel like that they might be running at the same time? That would be so typical. Um, I want Sijuin so badly. I can't explain it. I'd rather not pull Kazuha and have Sijuin. I want my healer with the bubble blower gun. Ugh, I want Sijuin so bad. Okay, I'll get Farina C6. Nice! I mean, Farina is really good. Bear loves Farina. I would cry, imagine. <gasps> Or, what you know what would make more sense? If they put Ryo and Sijuin together because they're like... Fortress of Meripede banner! You get fish, although you look like you could use some steak, so... Do you want to come fish blasting with me? I'll get grounded for a whole day, but it's way worth it because the fish tastes so good! I don't good. even have her C1, but do you have her? Bear, what do you have? Do you have her, like, C1 or just regular? You have her? Yeah. Okay, Bob. Let's see. Nope. Uh, sorry, dude. Okay. It's better to figure it out now. Ooh, we like that. Damn, Bob's le like living his best life. Okay. Oh, he liked that too. At Farina release, my friend was like, my luck for her was so bad, I lost my 50-50 once and could only get C3R1 because I only could get 220 wishes and I was just staring at her because those numbers were not making sense. Those are not... They do indeed not make any sense. He likes when you pet the paws. Yay! What about under their chin? I'll try. I'm first gonna... I'm scared though. Nope. Bob, calm down. Okay. I always do that in real... Me too, I do that. They always like that, but apparently Bob doesn't, so... Wait, there's one more. <laughs> Okay, I picked the right ear. I forgot. I knew I picked one of the ears, but I forgot which one. We are inseparable. We did it. Bye, Bob. I don't. I refuse to call it. I am at the for furball fortress. Where do you want me to go? Okay. <clears throat> That doesn't sound very Bob-like. 
But yeah, I always scratch a cat, like, behind the ear. Or, like, right at the base of their tail, they like that, too. If the cat always comes to me, what that means it loves me. It does. You have a cat? Do you have a cat? If you have a cat, join my Discord and post... If you have animals, please post them in my Discord. I love... I love animals. I used to... Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Cats are great. I always go to cat cafes. That sounds like so much fun. I've never been to a cat cafe. I would like to go though. Meow. Aww, that's a good kitty, Sir Bob. Bob. You better be on your best behavior from now on, okay? Don't go causing trouble now. <laughs> I'm a nosier, sweet, happy little cat. You'll get along with everyone just fine. Okay. It's fine, you can feed them too, snacks. Oh, I need to go to a cat cafe once. I definitely have to go to a cat cafe. <laughs> I love cats. When I go visit my mom... Um... My mom has two cats. So, I can go... Well, cuddle with one of them. The other one is a bit more reluctant, but he's also very sweet. The other, like, yeah. Otello isn't too, um, he likes it a little bit when you pet him, but he also is like, okay, I'm done now. Oberon loves the attention. So I get kitty cuddles whenever I go visit my family. Um, yeah. Ten cats? Oh, what if they all love you? You're like surrounded by ten cats. That would be my dream. Be my dream. He's so adorable. I just want to scratch his head I'm... and pinch his little cheeks. I wouldn't do that. He does have a certain endearing quality about that him. That he does. When he's not causing trouble, that is. Hmm. Huh. I wonder how he got that injury around his eye. Kaya gave it to me, wanted them to match. Always jump on my lap and play with me. That's so cute. I would go to cat cafes too if they did that all the time. Otello, isn't that the name of the cat in Pinocchio? No, that's Figaro. That's Figaro. Otello is like the name of like, I think a, a play by William Shakespeare. If you have a snack, makes sense. I'll make sure to have a snack, like. Okay, so go to cat cafe. Snack for cats. S get smothered by cats. Perfect. The traces of restorative potion indicate that Sir Pouncelot should be in the vicinity. Hello? Why do you call him Sir Pouncelot now as well? Huh? Oh, it's the traveler Paimon and Sister Rosaria. Hello. And you must be an adventurer. I don't believe we've met. Albedo's here. Like, hello? It appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. Why do you call him Sir Pouncelot? That's not his real name. Albedo! It's been such a long time! Oh. It's super great to see you! Uh, but are you sure you're in the right place? I mean, he keeps talking about Sir Pouncelot. I'm assuming the captain of the investigation team is here for some important reason? He lost his cat. Captain? He's a captain of the Knights of Favonius? An important officer just showed up without warning. And I don't even have any refreshments or snacks to offer. I... it's fine. Please, allow me to explain, sir. I assure you, this shelter is operating under a legitimate business license. All proper procedures have been followed. I don't think he's here to check on you. Bob is the canon name. It is canon now for me. No wait, sir. Pounds a lot. Assuming that Albedo has arrived to investigate her business, Valerina frantically searches for the relevant documents while explaining the purpose of the shelter. Valerina appears intimidated by the ident identity of the visitor, unaware that the investigation team doesn't handle such inspections. I would do... I would... I would do inspections like that. Just for fun. <laughs> There's no need to worry. I was simply in the area helping my team address a small issue. Hmm? Namely, the location of this cat right here. 
not too long ago. Interim team feline treatment case number three, Sir Pouncelot, oh. knocked out the weapons officer who was watching over him. He then fled and disappeared into the city. Damn, Bob packs a punch, apparently. I was so, so sure Kaya was going to come through the door. I was too surprised at being wrong to be excited to see Albedo again. I mean, I was expecting Kaya too, because they, like, you know. But Albedo is a nice turn of events. I think I've only seen him during his story quest. We knew we had to recover him as fast as possible. Yeah. The cat belongs to the investigation team and even bears the insignia of the Knights of Avonius. We saw that. If he were to wreak havoc across the city, well, that would hardly be a welcome result for any party involved. That's true. Oh, so he actually belongs to the investigation team? That would explain the Knights of Favonia symbol. You're saying Sir Pouncelot is capable of knocking out a knight? He looks like and it. What's all those official sounding titles you added to his name? Into a treatment case something or other? Is there something else you're not telling us? Uh, well, I suppose I yes, should explain. Please. Two months ago, Bob. Sir Pouncelot got lost in the wild and accidentally ingested whopper flower nectar. Oh no. Due to certain effects that are not entirely understood as of yet, the nectar caused him to triple in size. I mean, if you're in part of the Knights of Avonius, I think that is fine. Triple? Even regular sized cats can get pretty bold when they're upset. A cat triple the size? Oh, Paimon bets even a hilly churl wouldn't be enough to scare off a cat like that. Makes sense now that he knocked out. Knocked out a. A guard. See, Bob is high crit rate and damage, I can tell. <laughs> Hi, so Shaven. That's what happened. No wonder he was so anxious. How did your exam go, by the way? For cats, or really any animal that lives in the wild, a larger size doesn't exactly confer many advantages. What it actually does is make their appearance more noticeable and their movements less nimble. Poor Bob. Which in turn means living in perpetual danger of exposing themselves to attacks from predators. E. In other words, it means living in a constant state of fear. Poor cat. Exam was alright. Studying did nothing. Well, if you did all right, it meant that you understood the... I have exam tomorrow, paper due Monday, but I just finished the paper. <gasps> Damn. Okay. So, um, go study. <laughs> go study. <laughs> Unless you have a good feeling about the exam. Exams on Saturday, though. Ugh. Multiple choice? Oh, and online. Uh, okay, question about multiple choice. If you get an answer wrong, do they deduce points? No, I'm not gonna cheat. Look at you, Shaven. I think they would notice if you take too long. I never had good feelings about exams. I sometimes had good feelings about exams. Sometimes, not always. Um, how long he got? No, but yeah, like with multiple choice, but yeah, wrong answer, lose a point. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say because even then, multiple choice sucks because if you then get a wrong one, like we didn't have that in like high school, like middle school, like from ages. 12 to 18 just nothing but then when we went to college you really had to because in in high school when you had a multiple choice exam you would go in into the mindset of like just pick something it might be right and then you would get an extra point if you got it right then we went to college and they're like yeah no it's better to not answer if you don't know the answer 100 percent because you might lose a point. <laughs> you knew the answer and second guessed. Oh no. Usually they distract points if you answer wrong on multiple choice. Yeah, they do. 
sucks though, but it makes sense. Exactly. When Sir Pouncelot stumbled upon our encampment, he looked quite worse for wear. His entire body was riddled with scars, and he appeared exceptionally anxious. Poor Bob. Th that's awful. I guess he had a good reason for all that swatting earlier then. If all that had happened to me, I would be afraid of new people and strange animals too. For my exams, they say answer everything even if you don't know. It's usually a say in short answers because you might ramble and get one mark at least. See, that I understand, but with multiple choice, yeah, don't. Don't answer if you don't know. We we didn't have many multiple choice. We had a handful um, when I was studying. I hate exams. You don't need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. I administered a restorative potion to eliminate no. the alchemical effects of the whopper flower nectar and help him return to a normal size. But I like Bob this size. Although he still might appear a bit larger than the average cat, his current size, at least, should pose no more threat to his quality of life. While in our care, various knights have been taking turns watching over him. The majority of the questions were, like, explaining. Yeah, same with, with us with exams. Hello, Sparks. How are you? Happy weekend. Hope you had a great day and a great week. If you answer or answer wrong, you lose a point. So it makes sense for us to try. Yeah, I had a teacher where you got a point for answering correctly, multiple choice. Lost a point for leaving blank and lost two points for answering. For <gasps> that is terrible. That teacher should be fired. <laughs> what a terrible teacher. You're good just building your chichi. Oh, you have a chichi. I'm jealous. Good luck building your chichi, though. In light of his feisty demeanor, Klee decided to call him Sir Pouncelot. But we all thought it was quite fitting. We even made him that little scarf as a testament to his time among our ranks. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Damn it, Klee! Whoa, Klee and Paima were totally on the same wavelength with this one! Yeah, Thought unfortunately. Same name. Great minds really do think alike. I wouldn't say great minds. <laughs> now you like the name, right? Right? I knew it. I hate the name. It's still Bob. It's still Bob. Want to get in the but no, Chi Chi came home. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. I also want the but I'm being strong. I'm saving for Sijuin or Farina. Though probably Sijuin. Imagine if Dilu comes home again. I'm gonna be so disappointed. I'm stressed out. Honestly, when I think about when I think about wishing, I I get stress. So I'm waiting until they drop some Sijuin drip marketing. Anything Sijuin. I just go with the flow. I only pull forever for whoever I really want. And then I did that last time and now I slightly regret it, but I'm trying to not regret it. <sighs> so, it is what it is. You win, you lose. <laughs> no, I'm glad I have Ito. I'm just not happy with d -Luke. Sir Pouncelot's extreme level of anxiety and caution around people may be a result of residual trauma from the time of his transformation. Poor cat. You could say he was less than friendly towards the weapons and signals officers on our team. Klee wasn't around that much to entertain him either. However, it appears Bob. Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. The knights on my team would never have imagined that he could warm up to people like this. That's because I have Klee with me, that's why. <laughs> well, they are our dear cat saviors after all. The famed honorary knight and Paimon the Cat Whisperer. <laughs> no matter how feisty or frightening the cat, after a few minutes with the traveler and Paimon, they'll be as sweet as can be. If that's the case, then I have a question for you both. 
Would you be willing to adopt Sir Pouncelot? If I can rename him, <laughs> I'll adopt. Wait, really? But doesn't he belong to your team? I'm I'm happy I've Ito, but I would be happier if I didn't. That's surely what she means. No, 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 no. I'm happy I have Ito. I would be happier if d -Luke didn't show up and it would have been Ito that showed up instead. That's what I mean. But no. Hey, at least both of them weren't heart pity. That would have been terrible. Well, we did take him in, but it was simply out of necessity. We were always planning to find him a permanent home after his condition became more stable. Okay, but like we travel around a lot. I don't know if he's up for that. The investigation team is no place for a pet. We are a combat unit after all. That makes sense. Any night he got close to would have to go on assignment eventually. It's hardly appropriate to just leave him at camp. And bringing him on our missions would only frighten him further. Yeah, but I, do, I would have to... I, it would be the same with me. All good points. Okay. He's been through quite the ordeal already. For a creature like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. That way he can slowly recover in peace. That would not be me, though. Cozy little home for him in the Serenity Park. Right, pack. that way. He has everything he could want, and most importantly, no monsters. That's true. Oh. Great. Welcome to the family, Bob. Thank you so much, Albedo. Oh, no need to thank me. If you find yourselves with some time on your hands, maybe you can bring him by the encampment sometime. Sure. I'm sure my fellow knights would love a chance to see his calmer side. Oh, the teapot you haven't built at all. What teapot? I don't know about any teapot. That was so touching. I can't believe I got to witness such a special moment. It's okay, Valerina. I do believe this counts as the Furball Fortress's first successful adoption. Oh, look at how happy they are with their cat. Hey, my veil is not a handkerchief. <laughs> it appears you enjoy interacting with small animals, Sister Rosaria. I must admit, I find that a bit surprising. Paimon can also sense that you're an animal lover, Rosaria. You definitely have a way with cats. That's true. You just haven't realized it yet. After all, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. I mean, when does she when does she have the chance to interact with cats? The snowball warmed up to you right from the start, and you were the one that helped Sir Pouncelot calm down back there. I just caught up to you on the quest. Uh, Bob was actually even bigger. His current size is a smaller size now. Is it? Oh, uh, I didn't really do anything, though. I was just there. I wasn't. I don't. I... Ah, I've got it. I've learned so many useful tips from our dear cat saviors recently. Mm -hmm. I've decided to extend Show the Bob. shelter's trial period for a bit in order to go over what I've learned. With some effort... I hope I can be a Cat Whisperer too one day. Ooh. For now though, I'll settle for Cat Whisperer in training. <laughs> good dreams, good way of thinking, good mindset, Valerina. When I open for good, what do you say we run the shelter together, Miss Rosaria? With the two of us, we could rescue every stray in Mondstadt. I remember it took me more than a year to realize Rosaria's short hair. Yeah, I uh, reading your comment now i also was like wait she has short hair hmm, i didn't know either we're working together almost sounds like it was meant to be <laughs> that's so weird oh, well this errand hasn't proved to be too troublesome it's light on work and stress i suppose i wouldn't be opposed I'm, to your suggestion i'm completely confused now she has short hair. I don't know much about rescuing stray animals, but <laughs> oh, this no. seems to be quite the milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. I like your shirt. Thank you. It has jellyfish on it. It's a crop top. Not that you can see it, but I love the t-shirt too. It's one of my favorite summer t-shirts. If my fellow knights run into any strays, I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really can't thank you all enough for your support. You're welcome. Don't worry. There's a generous reward in store for each and every one of you. The Ooh. trial phase of the Furball Fortress could not have been more successful. 
When we open for good, you all simply must come to the opening ceremony. We'll cut the ribbon together. I'll gladly cut the ribbon. Now that's what Paimon calls a successful commission. Rewarding in more ways than one. Mora, a sense of accomplishment, and of course, our special friend, Sir Pouncelot. Talk about a win-win-win. That is a win-win-win, only if I can get it. My shirt? No. I love my shirt. Paimon can't wait for the Furball Fortress to open for good. Not yours. Oh. <laughs> A similar one. Oh, I was like, what? No. <laughs> I like that Lumine clapped. Sometimes I forget she's there because Paimon does all the talking. That's... Well, yeah. So you do sometimes forget she's there. Hello. Hello, everybody. Is Bob still here? He is. Hello. Can't believe we have a Bob now. Actually, one of these streams, I should probably work on my teapot. Damn, look at him. Ooh. Where do I get my bob, actually? Do I just automatically get bob? You already got it? Okay. Bye, cats. Clee was a brave girl today. I found a really weird-looking lizard. Want me to show it to you? Okay. Before working on teapot, you should cut trees. You already... Yeah, I probably should. I forget that you can do that. Uh, but I don't think you can get a shirt like this anymore. I bought this, like... These bombs so heavy. I don't know, but, like, six years ago, maybe? Seven? Very long time ago. <laughs> Like a really long time ago. Okay, let's go to Monster. Maybe right now I should have enough for my commissions, right? Right? Please? I do! I'm still upset that there's no more Archon Quest here. Let's go to Cat Ring. Hello, Catherine. Ad Astra. Yes. Thank you for com- You're welcome. Ad Astra. Yep. Yay. <sighs> Actually. Catherine, <laughs> indeed. Catherine. Yay! Claim all. Ooh, we got a wish. Let's let's use it. Just because I need to get it out of my system. Damn. Not work. Sad day. Incredibly sad day. Anyway, bye Kazuha. Bye Nevillet. I think I have everything else. Oh, I can claim and I can unlock. Oh, Niviozi, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. It didn't follow. That's okay. That's fine. That's totally fine. But thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Also, thank you for donating so much. I really appreciate it. That was very sweet. You and me a quest. I don't think your Mia's quest is... Yeah, it's still locked. I always forget. That's fine. I probably would forget too. Okay. Farina or Nevillet? Farina then, fine. 
There she is. Next one will be Neviletto. <laughs> Look at all the quests I can do. Wee. And then all these things. Everybody says I should do this one. Well, you guys said it would be a fun one. Hey. Okay, I am gonna wrap up for today. I know it's not very long, especially since we've had two five hour streams in a like back to back, then three hours and a half sounds short, but I'm very sleepy. I'm so sleepy today. It honestly already feels like it's it's 11 for me. That's how tired I feel. I have two more streams soon. That is true. Um, don't, don't be upset. I'll be back on Sunday. Um, I usually don't stream on Fridays, uh, just so everybody knows. I streamed on Friday because it was special program. Um, my schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. So no stream tomorrow, but I'll stream on Sunday. Um... I'll either react to cam to character demos or we'll um, play a bit of Genshin or we can do both uh, because I have I have never seen a character demo. The only one I've seen is Klee's. Other than that, I've stayed away from every character demo ever because I didn't want spoilers and I wanted to keep it to react on stream. Time has finally come. So we are definitely going to do that. It's okay, I have to work tomorrow, so perhaps it's for the better. I'll get to bed in time. Nice! Nice! Whoa! Do you mean whoa? Dena, dena, dena. Tuna, tuna, tuna! Tuna. I'm like, I was like, what's going to What's gonna happen? Yes, but it would probably be good for me too, because I... Probably should do some work still, or I, I'll eat the cat throne we got at the end of the quest. Yes! This one. Where are the... This one. When you put it in your teapot, you can summon cats you have caught in the world to pit. How does that work? Oh, I forgot about this one. I love that one. Oh, I forgot about this too. In Inazuma, there's a lady who sells animal catching. Right, that one. Um, I think I have it. I'm not sure. You mean with the net? I should... Oh, we... I should go cat catching. I should go catch some cats. Damn, that was difficult. That's the lady that blocked your quest progression once. Yeah, the unambiguous whatever net or something. I remember. Oh my gosh, all the keys. Where? Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Don't look at it. <laughs> Should see my map. <laughs> Unexplored everything. I think 70 is the most I have. Oh, I haven't even unlocked everything here. Should see the Should see the desert. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a bad Genshin player. Also, don't look at the cap to resin. We just ignore that. I'm gonna close it. So many primals you're missing out on. I know. I know I have to do... I have to do exploring. You know that one key is 40 primals, right? You just don't look at... All chat. Yeah, don't look at it. 
just don't look at anything with my stream basically you're getting those were nine keys so that's 360 primos damn well i guess what we'll be doing pretty soon i don't think i found any ones that i marked because this is the ladder the sussy ladder these are the ones i already claimed There was one in Inazuma that I had to go to. I think it was this one. And here. Let's go there. You missed the slime event. I did miss the slime event. Next co-op, we'll have to show you where they are. Yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I usually do the co-ops on Sunday, by the way, um, for those that are interested. Um, not this Sunday. I'll have to see. Maybe we will. I'll let you guys know in Discord. So join Discord if you want to be keep kept up to date. Oh, no, my house is full of cats now. I don't see the problem with that, too. No, I don't. I think I think that's a pretty good deal. I think that's a pretty awesome deal. Okay, I'll go grab that one. I think it's there. I think the four-leaf clover ones are um, those those things that I unlock with the key. Um, I think... No. Wait. What is this? Why... Why is... Why... Oh, chest. Oh no. Stabilize. No, that, that was not my there is plan. No escape. Oh. I will end. No. This is it. You need a hurry. Order guide you. Shine down. Inazuma shines eternal! You need to hurry up! Damage dealer is Klee. Everybody else does barely any damage. It's okay, baby. You did a good job. You you did not almost die at all. Um Yeah, so uh turns out that was a chest and not a anything. But I swear there was one somewhere that I marked. That I didn't get to yet. So now I'm confused. Anyway. Uh, I got a chest. So at least there's that. Now I'm stuck in Inazuma. Um... 
I don't really know what we're gonna do, so I don't really know where to teleport to. So let's go just back to Monster. Means you explore today. I did some exploring. There we go. I checked off that. So now I go switch my scenes again. 